Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and today we're going to take the uh, apron apart. As I told you before, I, I may not have came that way from the factory. So, I don't know if you can see down in there, that panel's loose. There's something hitting the bottom of that. So, obviously, something is amiss down in there. So, I'm going to take this off. These four bolts off. I gotta take out the feed screw, which I'm thinking I'm going to take the shear pin out and might have to take this block off here and uh, take the block off. So the lead screw is already broken. The shear pin's broken. So it might pull out of there. And this is just the on lever, so I'll disconnect that here. So I'm thinking I'll, have to re I'll pull all the le the screws out, so I can take it apart right here. Because obviously this guy goes through it for the power feeds and all that. So I'll bring you guys along for the journey. It is windy outside, so you may hear that. Got some stuff sprayed up like 10 minutes ago I sprayed my brake cleaner in there thinking it was a, a cotter pin or a roll pin and no it was a allen bolt and it came back sprayed me in the eyes i i cannot recommend that that was not fun so yeah i'll start i'll start with taking this block off here and i'll set up the camera and show you what i can i'll bring you back okay so on the end of the lead screw there, I remove these two guys here, these two nuts, nut washer, free that up. Now I'm over here, I'm going to remove the threading dial. Now this video is gonna be a little longer. So I wanna be pretty detailed about this. Uh, in case I have to refer to it to put all the stuff back together. So, oh, had the right one to begin with. Oh. Too many tools lying around. Okay. So, that one there that guy off and of course we'll clean and inspect all these parts before we return them to service so now what we're going to do is i'm going to move it to the other side zoom me up and we're going to take this plate off Just to give us some more room. And there we go. It's like a chip shield to keep chips from getting in there. Now I'm a big fan of the returning fasteners to their holes on disassembly. Because if I do have to order parts, you know, you, you never can tell. So, real quick, I'm gonna take my flashlight. Disengage the half nut. And, hmm, let me bring you back over here. Woo! Take loose the on off lever thing here.
Thankfully, all the uh, fasteners have been really easy here on this guy. Of course, it's from 90. The paperwork says 91, so it's not terribly old. Okay, we'll slide that guy out of the way. We'll take loose the carriage clamp, which isn't even working. It's off to the side. Let's get it out of the way. Mostly because I have to fix it anyway. Okay. So, we come over here. We take these guys off. Let's see here. Hoping this block will come off. There's not a... Uh, the diagram in the book shows everything in a whole bunch of different components. There's no like... Like the apron. It shows the handles as one part. The oiling system as another. But there's no like a general exploded view of it. As it were. Okay, that's wiggling. So what I'm gonna do is take set screw out right here. Set it on the table here where it will disappear forever. I'm going to go drive that shear that coil pin on the other side of this and I will bring you back okay we got that block off there the all the three shafts are still supported on the other end this block slid off I'll show you what there was so on the top for the lead screw there was two thrust bearing setups so this is a note to uh, my future self when I put this back together hello self bearing on this side bearing on this side the uh, drive just went through there and had the collar and this bottom one here to retain the uh, headstock control there was a ball bearing on a spring and this plug so now, in theory, I got this shaft supported, and this one supported. So I'm gonna. This should pull right out now. And it does. In the end of it, I thought it was a uh, the pin drove it out. No, the pin's just in there, and that slot goes over it. So set that guy down. And we'll, of course, clean that guy up before we put it back together. So now, there's the lead screw. Now the lead screw goes, there's no way I'll be able to show you, but the, the, the half nut's right here. On the other side, there's a guide that's about 25% larger than the lead screw. So the end of the lead screw is that round guy on there. It's not going to fit through there. So I'm not opposed to taking off the apron with the lead screw attached and pulling it out. Because even with the half nut disconnected, there's not enough play, even if I move the carriage all the way back to angle it out, I don't think. I might try that. 
But that's the only thing besides those four bolts holding this to the lathe now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this off. I'm not going to film it because it's going to be a bunch of me right here <laughs> fighting with it to get it off safely without damaging anything. So there'll be really nothing to see. But I will bring you back and show you what I did. Okay. Okay. The apron is off. So I believe it's grew out. Dropped out pretty easily. Coming up top looks looks good. That oil pump hose right there. Looks like it was connected to something. It dropped right off. So now what I'm gonna do is take this over to the workbench and set it up so we won't damage anything in the back there. And we'll take a look at the bottom. Okay, we got on the bench. It's on a bunch of towels back there, so nothing's in danger of getting hurt. All these bolts are already loose. See these last two out. We can take a look and see what's underneath there. So someone was tinkering in here before. Let's see. Let me get a flashlight. So this is what's engaging this whole assembly here. Ah, I see somewhere. See this grips. Let me zoom you in. that let me zoom you in here okay you see this flat right here that it gets gripped by this guy and I can see it's dished out of course it's it's all loose so it's not going to engage but yeah I can see it's all it's all shiny in there with a razor sharp edges So, there's a pole back here. You can see this engage, lifts it with this. Then that just, that's the catch. Yeah, it's not flat on the other side, just on this side. So that shouldn't be terrible. And as you can see back here, let me zoom you back out. The touch screen on my phone is getting really oily. Here's the clutch. Looks all good. I don't see too much gold on the plate here. I see some. Sides. I don't know what that pin does. I don't see where the rest of that oiler went. So it must just be a pump that goes down in the sump but everything inside there looks good except for that guy so we'll obviously have to do some build up work see if I can get to engage all the way see see how that catches that now bring it back there see how that's on, on there now see that's what retains it but it the downward forces are able to slip it down. So that is what we will have to fix. Then we'll clean all this out and inspect it, but that'll be in a future video. I just wanted to make sure before I ordered those parts, those gears, if there's anything else I needed. And I might have to. That's obviously, I'm not going to be able to find that. I'm going to have to modify it. Probably braise it up. Then we'll talk about the method I'm going to use to repair the two gears in an upcoming video. But yeah, thanks for uh, coming along on this longer video on removing the apron from the uh, lathe. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.